fishing on Lake Managua. For many locals, it's still their only source of income. This man is collecting bait for the following day. His fellow fishermen are still out on the water and show us their catch. They're glad the lake isn't so polluted now. A fisherman's life is hard enough. This man has to catch enough fish to feed eight family members. The sewage treatment plant ensures that the lake keeps getting cleaner. We fishermen really notice the difference. The fish are much healthier, so now it's no problem for us and our families to eat our catch. The wastewater treatment plant is located on the outskirts of Managua, the Nicaraguan capital. For decades, the sewage from more than a million people flowed directly into the lake. But that all changed in 2009. Now, two-thirds of Managuans are connected to the sewer system. And their sewage ends up here. During a tour through the treatment plant, students learn about water management. The plant's operator explains that more than 90% of the solid matter is filtered out. That still doesn't make the water safe to drink, but it's much cleaner than before. Using the latest technology to produce clean water, many of the students see this as a dream job. The sewage treatment plant in Managua is the first of its kind in the region. There's nothing like it in all of Central America. The project cost some 25 million euros. Funding was organized by German development bank KFW and provided by the German Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development. In two years' time, the plant will be handed over to Ilza Brockmann and her team from the Nicaraguan water supplier, Enacar. By that time, the local technicians have to be fully trained to run the plant without help from abroad. A new idea is to cut down on operating costs. The sewage sludge is aerated and left to dry in the heat until it forms a granulate producing a new, all-natural fertilizer. The first farmers are coming and picking up this granulate at their own expense and experimenting with it. The first customer is a dairy farmer, though no ordinary one. Ricardo Coronel Kautz used to work for the Ministry of Agriculture. Now he uses the granulate from the sewage treatment plant to fertilize the grass in his pasture. Does he think it's a good alternative to chemical fertilizers? I think it can soon replace synthetic fertilizers. The world's population is increasing, so it's a step in the right direction. In China, it's common to use human excrement, and we need to start doing that too. Switching to the new granulate could save a farmer around 30 tons of chemical fertilizer a year. That's cost effective for the farmer and for the sewage treatment plant, since it no longer has to dispose of the sludge. It's good for the environment as well. Synthetic fertilizers are usually made from fossil fuels. The more people use waste products to replace synthetic fertilizers, the more they contribute to the reduction of CO2 emissions. Reducing greenhouse gases and improving water quality have proved a boon to the ecosystem of an entire region. Lake Managua is connected to the much larger Lake Nicaragua, which lies some 50 kilometers southeast of the capital. On the western shores of Lake Nicaragua, we find the city of Granada. Its lovely colonial-era buildings have made it the country's biggest tourist destination.
but just a few hundred meters away from the city center, the view is less appealing. Barely a quarter of the households here are connected to the sewer system. Helga Jan from the KFW has an appointment with a man from the public water utility. The development bank is willing to offer funds to treat the sewage, which is already contaminating the city's drinking water. If nothing's done, people could become ill. The sanitation problems are reflected in the health of the people. There are many infectious diseases. The wastewater problem doesn't just look unsightly, it also affects people's health. Helge Jan wants to help. The number of residents in Granada connected to the sewer system should rise from 20 or 25 percent today to 80 percent. The second part of the project will be to overhaul the existing sewage treatment plant that's not working properly. Even after it's been treated, the water still looks like this, contaminated with algae and residue from detergents. More than 17 million euros are to be invested in Granada to improve water quality and keep the lake clean. That's vital. Lake Nicaragua is the largest drinking water reservoir in Central America.